Remember the tomb? Remember the loon? For over 40 years and for millions of TV viewers, Hinterland Who's Who was a first introduction to Canadian wildlife. Well, the public service messages are back, not that they ever went away. Paul Hunter has the story. From its maddeningly catchy music to those can't live without them details. Chipmunks are the smallest members of a squirrel family. The vignettes of Hinterland Who's Who, Canada's longest running public service announcements are. The snowy owl's major source of food is the lemming. If nothing else, supremely mundane and unabashedly, fabulously Canadian. The woodchuck, also called the groundhog, is one of the larger Canadian rodents. Now, 40 years after the originals, Ottawa is making some more, thanks in part to money willed to Environment Canada by a Hungarian immigrant who wanted his life savings to teach about this. The announcement came deep in the Ottawa wilderness. The new public service announcements will help educate a new generation of Canadians on the importance of protecting wildlife and the places that they live. For many of us, the haunting call of the common loon on a still lake. And so they've spruced up the music and pictures and beefed up the politics. But this hulking giant may be fighting a losing battle against poaching. Too serious? After all, half the fun with the old ones was making fun here in a commercial for Canadian magazines. The mountain kangaroo diet. And on this TV skit on an endangered species, the smoker. Once able to roam freely, it has now been exiled to areas where smoking conditions are harsh. The new ones, they say, will be more educational, but not necessarily any less fun. Though it's hard to top tidbits like this. A 10 pound fox can squeeze through a four inch hole. Still, that haunting theme is here to stay. Can you whistle the theme for us? No, I'm not a whistler, I'm afraid, but we, we could easily replay it for you. And so Canada will, again and again and again. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Ottawa.